As usual, there is a lot of noise when there is a new Alfa Romeo. And as expected, the new Alfa Romeo Milano was the top news this week. Although it is a brand that struggles to sell its cars, Alfa is a hot topic in the automotive industry. Whatever happens to it or whatever its managers announce, there will be always a subject of fierce argument. And the new Milano is not the exception to the rule. I had the opportunity to attend the official reveal of this small SUV in Milan thanks to a kind invitation from Alessandro Nardizzi, the head of PR for Alfa Romeo. Therefore, I was able to see the real car, its shapes, its interior. These are my impressions about the first ever mass-market electric Alfa Romeo and the first to be produced in Poland. The first thing I noticed when I saw the new Milano was that it definitely looks better live than in the pictures. Overall, it looks proportionate, modern and very aggressive. The side view is, in my opinion, very well executed and gives a sense of a powerful car. Besides, the rims it feature in this trim, the Veloce, are really good looking and sexy. The front view is where I still have my doubts, or let's say I need more time to digest it. It is simply too busy with many objects, lines and air intakes that don't give the sense of simplicity that you see in other alphas. The iconic grille looks smaller and less visible, while the brand decided to place the license plate in the center of the front fascia. The rear part is just different from anything we've seen in Alfa Romeo so far. It has some 80s vibe, but is at the same time avant-garde. I like the sloping window, which makes the Milano's line elegant without sacrificing load capacity. The interior is, in my opinion, the best part of the Milano. The designers did a very good job considering the limitations of working on an existing platform and cost restrictions. Inside, you can tell it is the same vehicle of the Jeep Avenger or Fiat 600. It is refined, classy and simple, with quality elements and the usual screen seen in other products from Estelantis. The Milano is available as fully hybrid or fully electric, with power that goes from 134 up to 237 horsepower. Although most of the press is talking about the electric version, it is clear to me that the real game changer is the hybrid version. It is less expensive and is almost alone in the premium BSUV segment, with the exception of the Lexus LBX. The BSUV segment is Europe's second largest and one of the most dynamic. As the demand of electric vehicles slows down, the hybrid cars are gaining relevance. The driver of a hybrid vehicle does not need to charge it and be worried about range and charging times. Hybrids are on average 29% less expensive than electric cars, and according to data from Jato Dynamics, the average retail price of the hybrid cars available in Europe in February 2024 was €43,000 compared to more than €60,000 for electric cars. With the right positioning, marketing and price offensive, the Alfa Romeo Milano Hybrid can become a new referent in the small SUV segment. While its direct rivals play in the only electric category, the consumer has only two choices for a premium hybrid BSUV, Lexus LBX and the Milano. In the meantime, BMW has enlarged the country mount to become a CSUV and the upcoming Aceman from Mini seems that will be only available as electric. Audi has abandoned the Q2. Is this the opportunity that Alfa Romeo has been waiting for?